Good morning to all. I welcome you all to this didactic program. Thirukkurlood Naam Attending in fact with a noble desire to reach the seat of grace in life by practicing the ethical values of Thiruvalluva. Couplet number 1064 Chapter The Threat of Mendicancy Swami Vivekananda was traveling by train and was passing through Tharigam in Uttar Pradesh. He felt very hungry. He never sought anything and did not touch the money by hand. Because of this policy, he used to eat only when he was offered voluntarily. A youth who was traveling in the train compartment could understand the hunger of Vivekananda. He was having enough water and food, but he had no heart to share. He ridiculed Swami Vivekananda by saying that those who were not interested to work only would wear saffron dress and such people are staging dramas. Swami ji did not mince any word. The train stopped. In the next railway station, a person rushed towards the train, boarded it, and came straight to Swamiji. He gave a roti and water to Swamiji, and requested him to eat. He was not previously seen by the Swamiji, so he told the man that he did not know who he was, and the food and water might be intended for some other passenger. Hence, he might search for the right passenger. The man who brought the food and water smiled at Swamiji and confirmed that it was meant for him only. He further explained, God appeared in his dream the previous day and night and ordered that I should provide food to you and that I have seen your face several times during my dream. Now I have executed the duty assigned to me by the God. Saying this, the man went off of the compartment. The man who sat on the opposite seat felt ashamed, bowing his head down. Nothing in this world is equal to an attitude of the habit of not seeking with others. even when there is a dire need for food our saint tamil poet thiruvalluvar explains about this in his thirukkural as follows idamellam kulla thagaithe idamila kaalum iravulla chaalvu i recite idamellam kulla thagaithe idamilla kaalum iravulla chaalvu Begging for hunger is shameful in the world. Not begging even during hunger is graceful in the world. Thank you very much. Indeed, Nandri Vanakkam.